In this video, we're going to take a look at time leaf fragments and the th replace attribute that we can use to create fragments that we inject in several different locations. Now, if you recall, we created a nav bar in a previous video. This nav bar is bound to grow over time. You see, we just did a very simple nav bar, but there are many different options, uh, including drop down, disabled, lots of different things. And you see that the HTML behind the scenes gets bigger and bigger. So this is not something that we want to copy and paste from one page to another. It would be better if we could put this in one kind of template page and then dynamically include it each time we need it. We can use the th replace element from Timeleaf to do this. First of all, let's remember that the navbar right now is in this location on our start page. So I'm just going to cut control X and cut that out and then save. And remember it's line 11. I remember I'm going to need to do some kind of th replace here. Uh, we'll come back to that. So I'll just say th replace. Just kind of make a note to remind myself that's where I want to be. Now I'm going to go back to my uh, project and look at the folder structure. And when I go under source, um, actually I'll tell you what, when I go under source main resources, that's where I want to be. I see templates. Let me make a new folder that hangs off of templates and we're going to call this new folder fragments and finish. And under fragments, I'm going to make a new file and it's just going to be an HTML fragment and we're going to call this file uh, topnav.html and we'll choose finish. We can put several templates in this file. I'm going to give myself a little bit of space and I'm going to go ahead and paste in this nav template that we have, that we copied from our start page. If we want, we can wrap all of this in normal HTML stuff, but really all it is is just a little nugget of HTML that we're going to include into a grander page. One thing I do have to do is I do have to wrap it into a div. So I'll say div th colon fragment equals, and then we'll call this navbar, something like that. Just remember that name navbar. Okay and a little bit of mixing around and there we go. Okay, so div th fragment is navbar and the name of this file is topnav.html. We'll do just a little bit of formatting um, to uh, indicate the indent here for the nav. Now, one thing to point out is that notice the th action is not resolved. That's because we don't have all of the, uh, the th library included in our in our fragment that we do in the page that will be consuming that fragment. But that's okay because the finished product that we're presenting to a browser is going to be essentially this fragment thrown right here where this th replace tag is going to go. So it will all come together as one big document to the browser. Let's go ahead and fix this th replace. For this I'm going to say div and then we're going to say th uh, colon replace and then equals, and we start with the name of the folder where we put our fragment, which is fragments. I'll just do a quick check and make sure. And sure enough, it is called fragments, and the page underneath that is called top nav. So let's start with fragments, and then we'll say top nav. Okay, after that, we're going to say colon colon, so space and two colons, and then we're going to say which fragment we want to include from this top nav file. So the top nav file only has one fragment right now and it's called navbar. I could make multiple fragments just by essentially duplicating this div logic that we see here. But nonetheless, let's say top nav colon colon navbar. And then we will uh, terminate. And actually, we'll go. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go ahead and make it uh, two separate tags just like so. Now what will essentially happen is this entire unit will be replaced with what's in our navigation bar uh, from the top nav HTML file. Just to make sure we're not seeing a cached version, I'll, I'll change something. So right here you see welcome to plant places. Why don't I change this in our fragment to make sure that it's actually serving the fragment, not just a cached view of what we were looking at earlier. Or you know what? I have an even better idea that maybe we'll do in just a moment. So let's see. We have welcome to, let's say, my plant diary. Just like so. Notice that I'm changing it just within this fragment file. So we'll save and we'll restart. So I've restarted the app and let's go ahead and refresh. Uh, we refresh, hits a breakpoint. Let me just hurry up and dismiss this. F8. And we come back to our browser. 
and take a look at Nell says welcome to my plant diary so we know that this is getting served up by our fragment. If I do a view source we can also see that the div has been replaced with this fragment that we see here. But just to complete this thought, let's think about how we can include this in multiple pages. So what I'm going to do, run back to our application here, and I'm actually I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a look at Bootstrap and I'm going to see an example where they have something clickable. So here is Home, which is clickable. So, okay, what we need to do is do this uh, collapse, nav bar, collapse, nav bar, nav, just like so. And I'm just kind of grabbing this quickly, but nonetheless, we'll get the idea pretty quickly. Uh, so I go to my top nav fragment, and we know that we can enhance this a little bit. So let's see, we have a form, we have Welcome to My Plant Diary. Right between these two, I'll just paste in this nugget where it is doing some kind of linking. So, boom, and then we'll go ahead and take off. Uh, several of these line items here as well. We'll leave ourselves with just two, that is home and features. So for home, we'll have that go to start, which is the endpoint we currently have map. For features, I'm going to change, change this to sustainability report, or we'll just say sustainability. So the idea is that sustainability. The idea is that uh, after you've inputted your plant diary, you can get a report card on what your sustainability is. We'll call this one sustainability. Okay, that looks good, and then I save. Now, here's what we really wanna find out. We wanna find out if I change the top nav here, are we going to see it reflected in our existing start page that we have, as well as a sustainability page? So we need to make a sustainability page because we don't have one yet. So I'm going to right click, and I'm going to choose copy. And then under templates, I'm going to choose paste. So I'm simply cloning this existing start HTML and we're going to call this sustainability. HTML. I probably could have given that a better name, something a bit easier to spell, but we'll go ahead with that. Now in the sustainability HTML page, uh, let me just cut out a couple things that we're not going to need so we can so we can get a uh, an idea that we are looking at a completely different page. I'll take out this little nugget where we are submitting uh, specimen data and we'll just make it a very simple page. We'll say your sustainability rating is. The important part though is note that we're using the same include here for the nav bar. Go ahead and save this. We're using the same include here for the nav bar as we are on start HTML. So we're including that nav bar in both pages. Now one more thing I want to consider is I've added a new endpoint here called sustainability and glad I looked and I saw my spelling error, sustainability, just like so. So I need to map this endpoint in my controller as well. And this will be a fairly straightforward item to map. Uh, we'll go towards the bottom and we will say at request mapping and then double quote, double quote, slash boom, just like so, sustainability. And then we'll say public string sustainability and in this page, we're, we're just going to, uh, we are just going to return that static sustainability page. So all we need to do is say return and then sustainability in quotes, and that will pull up the sustainability template, the really quick and dirty page that I just made, just like so. So we're just saying if the user clicks on a link that gets to this endpoint, we return sustainability. Sustainability is going to match up to this sustainability HTML page that we made. The sustainability HTML page is going to pull in our, uh, it's going to pull in our fragment for our top nav. Now I got really excited to hit the start button there, but I realized I am missing one thing and that's this nav class. Uh, notice that we're dealing with a more complex nav bar now than we used to. And so we need another CSS class uh, here to style it, which is nav bar expand LG. So in our fragment, let's simply paste this navbar expand LG and save, uh, restart, and let's go back and take a look at our application. And our application uh, now has the changes that we made earlier. Now here's the interesting thing. You recognize this page because we've been talking about it a lot. And you see it's coming together quite nicely and it's starting to style quite nicely. Now the real trick is, do we have a consistent look and feel when we go from home to this new sustainability page. And sure enough, we do. Look at that. It looks like 
this top nav is pretty much the same. It looks like it's the content in between that's changing. But indeed, you can see we do have a different endpoint, and we therefore we do have a different HTML page. It's simply bringing in this nav bar uh, as a fragment. If I were to change the nav bar again, if I were to say something like uh, myplantdiary.com, again, we would see that reflected in both pages because we've implemented this only one time, and using that th replace mechanism, we're able to bring it into multiple pages from one source. And with the magic of this nav bar and all of the different styles that we can add to it, we know that we can continue to update that one fragment and all of our pages will have the updates provided that they're pulling in that fragment. So I hope this video on the nav bar and on th replace was helpful. I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.